So in the last video, I said I was going to um, push my code to GitHub to so that you can access it whenever you want. Um, so let's just do that now. I wanted to do it without showing you, but I mean, there's nothing I'll be showing you. So I'm going to my profile on GitHub. I believe you should have a GitHub account by now. So I'm going to create a new repository. Um, you can come here, up here to do that. So your repository is like a folder where you can keep your, uh, your project in the cloud. I'm going to leave the template area blank and give it a name. Uh, it's the test um, start.ng hospital, SNH. So I think right, SNH is fine. Uh, so start.ng hospital. PHP tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to make it public. You can make it private if you want. Uh, I'm not going to initialize with this. I'm going to leave that out. Then um, let's add some license. Well, I'm going to leave that blank too for now. Let's not worry about anything. Um, so create the repository. Um, it's running. So you can see my folder is created and it is blank for now and you you usually get instructions on um, how to get set up and get things working so let's see we have two here we have um, create a new repository command line we have the push an existing repository to uh, from the command line so we either use this or this in our own case i think we need this because uh, we've not not done this is not a git repository right now so let's open our Terminal, my terminal here is um, to open my terminal. I just run a short command control. Well, I don't know what the code is. Let me show you. It's um, CT, that's control plus this. That's what I need to open my terminal. That's the button right beside one, then with a the sheet. So let's just run the things that we have on our Git uh, here. I'm going to skip this one because I'm not interested in adding a readme file for now i'm going to come right here add my project files commit it and then push to my repo so let's do that uh, so git in it this is this is going to make this folder which is this particular folder into a git folder basically just adding this directly there let's see it should be added by now um okay it's not showing here but but if i go to my if you go to your um, folder, you should see it there. So let's try to open that up just to be sure that it's there and to really show that it's actually there. Uh, so where is it? Okay, so I uh, have SNH and you can see my Git folder is here now, which is fine. So that means we've made this into Git. And then you can see the files uh, the color changed to green, uh, which which means they are ready. They are they are Git files, but they have not been added. I'm going to use that word, added. You can also see here I have an extension on my on my my editor that shows me the files that are ready, but not yet added, and not. Uh, so this basically means if I close this project now, this is still not staged or added. You can watch Git tutorials to understand more about that. But basically, I'm just going to be pushing this to the repo. Now, the next step after this is to add my files. So I'm going to do git add all. This means add every file here. So doing this would add it. And you can see the color change to something in darker green. Darker green. Here it says this are now staged. So ready to be pushed to the repo. So let's commit it. Git commit with a message. I can say initial push to GitHub. GitHub. So you can see all my files are now being committed, which basically means you can now push them. They are prepared enough to be pushed to GitHub. Uh, my, my editor is really small now, so let's let's try to make it bigger. Okay, this is a little bit better. So after doing this, uh, we can now do this. I'm just going to copy this instead of typing it. 
and put it here, enter, and then finally I'm going to now push it to my record. And um, once this is done, we should be able to refresh and see and see it here. We should be able to refresh this page and see that the files have been added there. So now it's doing that, and now it is done. We have a, a single branch, which is the master branch. So once I refresh this, you can see that my files have been added. I'm going to add uh, the link to this repo. Of course, you can still access it here. I'm going to still add it to um, my the video description below. Okay, so see, I've made a change here. I'm going to do something like this. Uh, do for my last name. And just say last name can be blank, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to go through everything I just did earlier to push this to GitHub. Just do it hard. I can have this specific uh, particular file that I changed, but in this case, I just want to do hard all, which would definitely just have the single file that I changed. And then I'll commit it and say validation for uh, last name. And then I'll push that to my master branch. Okay, so it's trying to push it now and it is done. Uh, if I refresh this, I would see that a new commit has been made, which is my second commit, and it is validation of last name. So there is another method you can use instead of this long method. I'm going to try to show you that now, which is by using the git, um, the, the desktop git, I mean git desktop or something. So I'm going to add that repository, which is already on my system. I'm going to be adding it to my desktop, uh, my git desktop, so I can also perform git operations from here. Now I've added it here, you can see it here. To add it, just go to repositories, sorry, uh, go to here, new repositories, add from local, and then select the folder that holds that project, which is what I just did now. Now I have it here. So let me go and make another change. Rather than typing in there, I can make another change and uh, check for email if it is empty. Basically, I just do this. And then you can see I have a new file that has been changed. You can it's showing me the changes that I added. Now it's uh, I can commit it from here by let me, let me move this up by just clicking here commit or I can change the message. Uh, the, if I did not change the message, then the commit message is going to be update process registered at PHP. But I like to change that say added email validation and then click on commit to master. Now it has been committed and it's saying I can push this to the master branch and it's processing the push now. And once it's done, I can see it in my repo that that branch, that change has been pushed. So now I have three and the last one was added email validation. So as we continue with this story, I'm going to be uh, pushing my changes to the repo so that you can see them. I'm going to create different branches uh, so you can see each stage as we move ahead.